Apologies for the poor sound quality. Stick with it. Okay, question two is a typical um, moles neutralization question, but uh, a little different is that we've got barium hydroxide as our alkali here, and so we need twice as much nitric acid as uh, barium hydroxide. As in any neutralization problem, uh, what we've got is data to find the number of moles of one substance. And what we need for that is a concentration and a volume. So we've got barium hydroxide, concentration, and volume. That gives us the number of moles of barium hydroxide. And we need moles equals concentration times volume. Put those numbers in. Concentration 0.146. The volume is in centimeters cubed. We're going to put it in decimeters cubed. Since concentration is always in moles per decimeter cubed, um, it's true that those decimeters cubed are going to cancel out later, but we'll just make sure we know exactly what we're doing with concentration before we do that. So the number of moles of barium hydroxide given there is going to work out to be 3.65 and 10 to the minus 3 moles. The equation tells us that the moles of nitric acid is going to be twice that. So the number of moles of nitric acid we've got is going to work out at 7.3 times 10 to the minus 3. And we've got concentration equals number of moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed and the volume in decimeters cubed. The volume in centimeters cubed is 28.7. They're going to cancel out. We're going to get a number which is around about uh, a quarter, 7 over 28, and yep, we get 0 0.254 moles per decimeter cubed. Don't forget the units there, and don't forget the correct number of significant figures, two significant figures to the standard. Okay, the next question. Question B, we're given uh, the amounts of two different substances in the reaction. Given the amounts of two substances, it's going to turn out to be a limiting reagent problem. From the equation, you can see that we need twice as much nitric acid as barium hydroxide. We've got 0.142 moles of nitric acid. We need twice that amount. Barium uh, nitric acid compared to barium hydroxide, we need at least 0.214. So we don't have that much. Uh, the nitric acid is going to be our limiting reagent. We don't have enough of it. The amount of product depends on the limiting reagent. So the product we're looking at is uh, barium nitrate and we can see that we get however much nitric acid we get half that amount of barium nitrate so barium nitrate formed is going to be half of 0 0.142 Part C involves the relationship between uh, moles and gases. You see from the equation that from two moles of barium nitrate, we're going to get a total of five moles of gases. So our amount of barium nitrate, 0 0.01 moles.
is going to give us five divided by two moles of gases. So the number of moles of gases works out to be 0.025 moles. We're going to use PV equals NRT. To find the volume of gas which we made here. So key things when using PV equals NRT temperature in Kelvin. Sometimes they're quite friendly um, as they are here and I'll actually give you that in Kelvin. Um, pressure in uh, Pascals, again, in Pascals here, sometimes it's in kilopascals. You need to uh, change it to Pascals. Uh, the volume is in meters cubed. That's by unit of volume. The data booklet will tell you R is 8.31. We know the number of moles here, we just calculated it. So rearranging that equation, we get volume equals nRT over P. Plug those numbers in, and you're going to get 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters cubed. You want to change that into centimeters cubed, then we're going to multiply that by a million, a million centimeters cubed in a meter cubed, and that works out to be 720 centimeters cubed. 